Hey Jet fans, come on in. Let's huddle up. Let's talk about the Miami Dolphins coming to town. As you know, both teams, the Jets and the Dolphins, are in dire need of a victory here. And uh, I still believe that football games are won and lost starting at the line of scrimmage. Uh, when we look at both the Dolphins and the Jets, uh, when it comes to pass protection, for example, the New York Life Passing Index has the Jets ranked 24th and the Dolphins 26th. Well, that's not very good. So the pass protection up front uh, needs to be improved for both teams. When it comes to running the football, well, I'll tell you what. For our Jets, let's say offensively, uh, we want to establish the run. We've been talking about that. But that's not going to be easy. The Dolphins are the seventh best defensive rush stoppers in the league. So that means we're going to have to mix in the passing as well. The good news for our Jets is that defense over there with the Dolphins is not star study. They have Cameron Wake, a linebacker that can put some pressure back there on Sanchez. But they've had some injuries, uh, their linebackers haven't played up to their potential, and, uh, well, they're just not playing very well. After a week's rest, however, they might be better. I think the Jets need to do better on first and second down. You know what we've done on third down, especially against New England, and uh, that was weak. Well, your first down and your second down kind of sets up the third down or even eliminates it. So if we can get the running game going uh, on second downs, maybe some play action on first down, whatever it takes, we've got to execute better out there on that field. Now, the Jets' defense, oh boy, this has been our strength. It's scary to see where we are ranked in stopping the run of the opposition. That was always our forte. We're ranked 27th now, I believe, but, uh, well, there's no buts about it. That's not good. We've got to stop these rushes from the Miami Dolphins. The rookie Thomas is pretty darn good. Whether he plays Monday night remains to be seen because he's banged up and he has a hamstring muscle that's bothering him. Reggie Bush, you know about Reggie Bush. Boy, he can break the long one in an instant. He can catch the ball coming out of the backfield. He's a fine player, and the offensive line is pretty good uh, blocking uh, for Miami. So I would expect our defensive front to have to play their best. Uh, we haven't seen that yet. We haven't seen a lot of pressure on the passer, certainly without uh, our, our safeties blitzing and without the blitzing. I'd love to see us be able to get back on Matt Moore and put some pressure on him because Miami has three good receivers, not counting Reggie Bush coming out of the backfield. Hartline is a player. Wide receiver is very good. Brandon Marshall, you know about, and Tony Fasano is one of the best ends, tight ends in the league, in my opinion. So we're going to have to play some darn good football uh, to get this victory under our belt, and I think we will because I believe the Jets are a better team. The team unity has been questioned uh, this past week or two because of some statements made to the media by, oh well, let's say Santonio Holmes. Uh, before that, uh, Jim Leonard alluded to not being ready or whatever. Just, you know, innocent statements to the guys at the time. But when they get out on the street, they're disruptive, uh, you know, for all the players. We hate to see that. The one thing about the Jets, and I believe this, Rex Ryan and his coaching staff, his staff, are going to keep that team together. I see Brandon Moore uh, talking uh, to Holmes. Yeah, they're going to get that together. They'll keep things uh, on, a, on a real professional level, even though things have been breached a little bit. But I promise you, folks, when you have 50-some-odd people working together, not all of them come to work every day with the I love you attitude. You know, some guys just rub each other the wrong way at times. And losing brings out the ugliness. For the team as well as we fans, we feel awful when we lose. So this week, I think we're going to get the thing together and get back on a winning trend. Huh? Okay, now when we 
have this game Monday night. Let's get out there, do a whole lot of cheering, get behind the team early, and not get down on them quickly if things don't start out just the way they should. We're a better team than the Miami Dolphins, and we're going to win this game. I'd like to say I guarantee it. However, there aren't many guarantees in life other than paying your taxes and passing on to the next level. I'll be back at you after the game. Until then, it's Go Jets, J-E-T-S. Jets, Jets, Jets. Ready? Break.